It is important to have a fuel shutoff valve on a gravity fed fuel tank. A gravity fed fuel tank is when the level of fuel sits higher than the fuel inlet, which is the carburetor on an engine. Gravity itself pulls the fuel down to the engine without any help of a external fuel pump. Gravity fed fuel tanks is very common on lawnmowers. Especially when you see the tank under the hood sitting up like this, that is a gravity fed tank. There are some lawnmowers where the gas tank will sit under the seat and then it has an electric fuel pump that pumps the fuel to the engine. Other examples of gravity fed tanks is on your average utility tractor, on motorcycles, and on ATVs. The reason why a shutoff valve is important on the gravity fed tank is by the pressure of the fuel sitting onto the carburetor. Over time, that pressure will start damaging the needle and seat in the carburetor. And what will happen is fuel will seep through the needle and seat while the engine is off and start draining into the intake. And what will happen is the fuel will run into the piston chamber and then it'll start seeping down by the piston rings and getting the oil. It'll thin the oil out. And over time, depending on how severe it is, it will eventually ruin the engine. So this is why I always put a shutoff valve on any of my, my gravity fed tanks. A lot of lawnmowers don't come with a shutoff valve anymore, but they're very easy to put in. You can purchase them at any of your small engine repair shops or parts stores. I bought this one at Napa Auto Parts. It just came with the shutoff valve, two clamps. Shutoff valves in rubber hoses is much easier to install than on steel lines. All you have to do to put one like this on is figure out what size hose you got. Buy a shutoff valve for that size hose just find an easily accessible place in the hose just cut it slide your clamps on the hose up a little back then slide the hose down each end on the valve and then put your clamps on and then you're good to go this specific carburetor here has a electronic valve on the bottom of the bowl but oftentimes they will fail too they have a little seal on the end of the plunger that a lot of times will get hard and won't create a seal anymore. On a steel fuel line, it's a little more work to put in a shutoff valve, but it's still fairly easy. I bought this at a local auto parts store. It's a fuel shutoff valve with brass compression fittings on each end. Instead of having to use a flaring tool to create flares in your line, it comes with these little compression flares and the, when you tighten down the hex caps on the valve this will create a good tight seal where no fuel will leak out. What you would want to do is remo remove the whole line from the tractor and then you'll take that valve remove the hex caps off of it and measure that distance from each end and then you'll want to cut out that section in the steel fuel line just use a steel fuel line cutter like this you loosen it up slide the line in there then tighten it down and you just spin around the line a few times and it'll cut through it while tightening down on this you'll slide your hex cap on each end and then slide the compression flare on each end and then just install it everything together on the valve and tighten it down real good. With using these, you, there is no need to use any kind of uh, thread sealer or anything. This itself will seal that line. Motorcycles and ATVs usually always have a fuel shutoff valve built into the reserve valve on the bottom of the tank. Just due to, you always want to shut it off after you're done running it. Maybe let the engine run 15, 20 seconds to take that fuel pressure off the line before you shut the engine off. This is a needle and seat for a lawnmower carburetor. 
that tip right there has a coating on it that creates a seal with that seat. This needle sits in the float in the bowl of the carburetor and what it does is monitor the fuel going into the carburetor to be ran through the intake. What happens is if this needle or seat gets anywhere on it, fuel will get by that seal and go straight into the engine combustion chamber and that's what will cause extensive engine damage. I have seen several cases over the years of engines blowing up because fuel leaked through the carburetor and watered down the oil in the engine. So there you have it. I hope you found this video helpful. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my channel and there'll be more videos to come. Thank you for watching.